A very fresh morning to all my dear students. Welcome back to mathematics class. Students, in the previous video, we solved exercise 11.1. Question number 1, 2, 3 and 4. Today, we are going to continue exercise 11.1. And solve remaining questions. So, let's solve it. Exercise 11.1 .1. Question number 5 The area of a square park is the same as area of a rectangular park. If the side of a square park is 60, meters and the length of a rectangular part is 90 meters. Find the breadth of a rectangular part. Students, in this question, we have to find the breadth of a rectangular part and we have been given the length of a rectangular part and side of a square part. Students, note that it is given to us that area of a square part is same as area of a rectangular part. So, in order to find the breadth of a rectangular part, first of all, we have to find the area of a square part which is equal to area of a rectangular part and then we have to find the breadth of a rectangular part and we know that breadth of a rectangle equals to area Divide by length. So, let us solve question number 5. By first of all, finding out the area of square part and writing the necessary information given to us. Side of a square part is given 60 meters. Length of a rectangular part is given 90 meters. Therefore, breadth of a rectangular part equals to how much? And area of a square part equals to how much? Thus, area of a square part is equal to side into side which is equal to 60 into 60. Now, multiply in 6 by 6 and placing 2 zeros to the product, we get 3600. Thus, area of a square part is 3600. Square meters. Students, we know that area of a square part equal to area of a rectangular part. Thus, area of a rectangular part is 3600 square meters. Now, let us find the breadth of a rectangular part. We know that breadth of a rectangular part equals to area divided by length which is equal to 3600 divided by 90. Now, dividing 3600 by 90 we get 40. Thus, 
breadth of a rectangular part is 40 meters. Thus, area of a rectangular part is 3600 square meters and breadth is 40 meters. Now, question number 6. A wire is in the shape of a rectangle. Its length is 40 centimeters and breadth is 22 centimeters. If the same wire is rebent in the shape of a square, what will be the measure of each side? Also find this shape. Encloses more area. Students, in this question, land and bread of a rectangle is given to us. Also, it is given to us that the same rectangular wire is rebent in the shape of square and we have to find the measure of each side of a square. Students, so in order to find each side of a square, first of all, we have to find the perimeter of a rectangle, which is equals to perimeter of a square. Then we have to find the side of a square and we know that side of a square is equal to perimeter divided by 4. Students also we have to find the area of a rectangle as well as area of a square in order to conclude our answer which encloses more area that is either rectangle or a square. So let us solve question number 6 and find the perimeter of rectangle side of a square and area of both square and rectangle and conclude the answer after writing the necessary information given to us. Length of a rectangular wire is given 40 centimeters. Bread of a rectangular wire is given 22 centimeters. Total length of wire equals to perimeter of rectangle. The perimeter of rectangle which is equal to square equals to how much? Side of a square equals to how much? Area of a square equal to how much? And Area of a rectangle equals to how much? Does perimeter of rectangle equal to 2 into length plus breadth equal to 2 into 40 plus 22? Now, Solving the bracket and keeping 2 as it is, we get 2 into 62. Now, multiplying 62 by 2, we get 124. The perimeter of rectangle is 124. Centimeters. Students, we know that perimeter of a rectangle equals to 
perimeter of a square. Thus, perimeter of a square equals to 124 centimeters. Now, let us find the side of a square. We know that side of a square equals to perimeter divided by 4 which is equal to 124 divided by 4. Now, dividing 124 by 4, we get 31. Thus, side of a square equals to 31 centimeters. Now, let us find the area of a square and a rectangle. Thus, area of a square equal to side into side which is equal to 31 into 31. Now, multiplying 31 by 31, we get 961. Thus, Area of a square is 961 square centimeters. Now, let us find the area of a rectangle. We know that area of a rectangle equals to length into breadth. Which is equal to 40 into 22. Multiplying 22 by 40, we get 880. Thus, area of a rectangle is 880 square centimeters. Students, since 961 is greater than 880. The square encloses more area than rectangle. Now, question number 8. A door of land 2 meter and bread. 1 meter is fitted in a wall. The land of the wall is 4.5 meters and the breadth is 3.6 meters. Find the cost of whitewashing the wall if the rate of whitewashing the wall is rupees 20 per Square meters. Students, in this question, we have to find the cost of Y was in the wall. Students, so in order to find the cost of Y was in the wall, we have to find the area of a door. Area of wall which includes door and area of wall excluding door. Students know that a door is fitted in a wall. So, in order to find the cost of whitewashing the wall, we have to subtract. The area of door from the area of wall including the door. By doing so, we will get area of wall excluding the door. Then, we have to find the cost of Y washing the wall by multiplying the area of wall excluding the door by the rate of 
white washing the wall. So, let us solve question number A and find out the area of wall including door, area of door, area of wall excluding door and the total cost of white washing the wall. After writing the necessary information given to us, length of rectangular door is given 2 meters. Bread of a rectangular door is given 1 meter. Length of rectangular wall which includes door is given 4.5 meters and breadth of a rectangular wall which includes door is given 3.6 meters. Therefore, area of a door equals to how much? We know that area of a rectangular door equals to land into bread which is equal to 2 into 1 which is equal to 2 square meters. Now let us find out area of wall including door. Thus area of wall including door equals to land into bread which is equal to 4.5 into 3.6 which is equal to 16.2 square meters. Thus, area of a rectangular wall including door is 16.2 square meters. Now, let us find the area of wall excluding door. Thus, area of wall excluding door equals to area of wall including door minus area of door which is equal to 16.2 minus 2 which is equal to 14.2 square meters. Thus, area of wall excluding door is 14.2 square meters. Now, let us find the cost of white washing the wall. The cost of white washing one square meter of wall equal to rupees 20. So, the cost of white washing 14.2 square meters of wall equals to rupees 20 into 14.2 square meters which is equal to Rupees 284. The, the cost of white washing the wall is rupees 284. Student, solve question number 7 by yourself. Thank you and have a good day.